Hello One Piece enthusiasts, I'm the One Piece nerd, and today let's talk about the Straw Hat Bounties. So, as of chapter 1058, the bounties are all out, it's been a while since we got Luffy's, and now we finally get the rest of the crews, and I'm here to say that, yeah, it's alright. So I didn't have much time to talk about it in my chapter review, but now here's a dedicated video to it. Uh, we've been waiting for a while since the bound uh, since the uh, reveal of Louis's bounty and we finally get the whole cruise and let's talk about it in details i've already said what i had to say about luffy i'm not going to get into it further feel free to agree or disagree with my with my luffy video whatever but for you know today let's talk about the rest of the crew so zoro's bounty was correction to be 1 billion 111 million flat which is great because the number that I didn't even remember, I think it was, there was a thousand behind it, uh, was very weird, to be honest. I don't know why Oda came up with this, I don't know how he came up with it, but I'm glad it's 1,111,000,000. So, that number signifies Zoro's uh, birth, I think it was November 11th, so 11 does 11,11,11. Uh, and it also, at the same time, solidifies his status as Luffy's first mate. So, alright, number puns. Oh, that's a huge fan of number puns. Huge fan of number puns. Mind my language. But, and so it, it, it goes to show. And I don't think any of us have to complain. It's the second highest bounty among all the Straw Hats. That's enough to say that, okay, he's the second strongest in the crew other than Luffy, and that's final. Now, Sanji and Jinbei. The whole thing about Zoro and Sanji going back and forth ever since the start of the story where both of their bounties got revealed, it's going to play on until we get a final declaration of the bounties and we have a solid status that, okay, this was their bounties, bef this is going to be their original bounty, this is going to be their genuine bounty, this signifies the status of every single crew, every single crew member, and their strength, and their ability, and their skill, and their threat to the world government, it, it's going to solidify their status, but this is not it. Um, I don't want people to bring up the argument of whether or not the monster trio is defeated because if you if you guys bring up the fact that the monster monster trio is over now, you guys are stupid. You guys are very stupid. This has ha happened before. This is going to happen maybe another time if we don't get if we get two more bounty reveals by the end of the story. But yo, this is just Oro playing around, and Sanji, it's about time. Wait, though, wait, Ichini's son, that's number three. He's supposed to be number three in the crew, but he is number three in the commanders. Oda's just playing around with the number schemes. I think he's having a blast with it, and so should we. So, with Jinmei getting a higher bounty, what, what could be the reason? Very simple. Jinmei being a former warlord, the, only, the last time we saw his bounty was after Marineford. Which is a long time back, if you ask me. There's been a two-year post-time skip. He's been with the Big Mom Pirates. And now he's joined Straw Hat Luffy. This signifies a lot of things. And there could have been changes to that previous bounty along a long way. And for Jinmei to go upper than Sanji doesn't make a lot of sense in the context of Wano. But in the grand scheme of things, from the world government's perspective, he's actually done quite a lot. He's betrayed Big Mom, he was a for, he was a warlord, and his status as being the captain of the Fishman Pirates. So I guess it makes a lot of sense that his bounty would be, a, you know, significantly higher. But more than Sanji, that's just Oda messing with Sanji. And I like the whole comedic aspect to it. And well, to add to that, if you guys really want to argue that Jimmy is stronger than Sanji, you are sadly mistaken. Because the fact that Sanji is number three will always remain constant. Not the number three commander, but the third strongest. And will always be under Zoro. And from here on out, I don't expect ever for Sanji's bounty to get higher than Zoro's. And that is a fact. It's not gonna happen again. It happened, it happened once. Sanji got his moment. 
but that wasn't actually satisfac satisfactory to him because it was for the Vin Smokes, not because of him. That's what he thought. And so it didn't g give him the pure satisfaction. And I don't think he ever will get that satisfaction because Zoro is number two. With all that being said and done, by the end of the story, we should have it in a way where the order goes Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, and whoever next comes in line. I don't really care. Moving on, let's talk about the other members. Robin's Bounty is about time that it has gotten the status that it actually deserves. In actual, in actual, in actuality, Robin's Bounty should be higher than Luffy's in terms of threat level because of her knowledge of the Poneglyphs. It's been said before and time and time again that the world government isn't giving her a proper bounty just because Luffy's bounty wasn't that high. And now that Luffy's bounty has skyrocketed to 3 billion, I think it's about time Robin gets the number she deserves. Um, not saying that 930, mil uh, 930 million is, you know, is a good representation of her threat level, but good enough for now. If Luffy gets even higher than this, which I expect he will, I expect Robin's bounty, Robin's bounty to skyrocket. Not more than Zoro's and Sanji's, because again, Oda wants to keep these numbers straight. But I wouldn't mind it if Robin gets, Robin gets above all of them other than Luffy, just to show how much of a threat she is to the entire world right now. Especially with the Straw Hats with three of the old Poneglyphs, missing just one more. I say, okay, this is it. This is it. This is going to be the final one. She's going to get an appropriate bounty. But then again, it's Oda. I don't think he's going to go farther beyond than what we expect. But hey, 9.30, cannot complain. From where it was, like 1.30 maybe, by the end of Dress Rosa. This is a better representation of what we want from Robin. Everyone else in the crew got a base boost of 300 million. Nami, Usopp, uh, Brooke, Frankie, all of them got a base boost of a 300, uh, 300 million bounty just because they're under the wings of Luffy. Uh, with that being said, it's hilarious that Frankie has been shown to be, you know, uh, the sunny, which is hilarious, because now, where could this come from? Oda has to mess up the Straw Hat bounty one way, shape, or form, and this time the misfall, misfortune falls upon Frankie, because of Shogun Frankie. If I remember correctly, Shogun Frankie came out of the South and Sunny, and whoever reported it made sure to get a picture from Sunny because they thought Sunny was a part of Frankie, and he's the Straw Hat ship or something. So, that's why we got that weird picture of his, which, okay, the Sunny deserved a bounty, but not like this. Sunny really doesn't, didn't deserve a bounty like this. She deserves a separate bounty, yes, but not like this, bro. Uh, I don't know why would I wanted to go with it, but it's just for fun and all. Uh, by the end of it, we th I think it should be alright. I don't have any problem with Nami's, Brooks, or Usopp's bounty. Usopp's bounty could have been lower, but, but just because he's on the Emperor crew, alright, I'll accept a 500 million, which is fine. But Frankie, though, the amount of effort he's put in, the amount of work he's put in, in this one, especially going up against Sasaki, I expected his bounty to get a little higher. I want, I'm, now again, Ola likes his numbers, he's not gonna mess with it, he was very constant with every single one of them, and I have no place to judge. But I hope by the end of the series we get a proper bounty where Frankie's actually representing the actual number, the same way Robin is. And he's done a lot. He doesn't deserve what he got this time around. I really, 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 really hope that it gets above the six million mark. Six million, even a billion mark from the next time onward. Because, yo, 394 million? Man, what is this, man? But, oh well, it's Oda. I, can't, I have to complain about it because Frankie's unlucky. I don't know what you guys have to say about it, but alright, sure. And last but, last but not least, Chopper. Are we gonna go with this whole Chopper being the pet thing for the entirety of the story? 
Very likely. Very likely because he doesn't deserve a high bounty. He's a doctor. He's on a prior crew, but at the end of the day, he's a doctor. And if, by happen chance, the Straw Hats get separated by the end of the story, and Chopper becomes a successful doctor, you don't want the Marines to come after him. If Oda wants to play this game of Chopper being the pet of the Straw Hats, I'm fine with it. Because what happens at the end of the story, once the Straw Hats disband, Chopper doesn't get the heat because his bounty isn't too high. I would like that. I would want him to live a peaceful life where he's able to treat people around the world and actually have cure for every single disease. If that plays out until the end of the story, I will be satisfied because prospect, future prospect. As for the rest of the Straw Hats, give him what you want. But yeah, Zoro Sanji's status would be clear and everyone else deserves a little bit more according to the amount of work they do. Usopp is getting to his god level status. I think he'll do much more in the future. He didn't do much here. But I hope he'll do a lot more. To end it all off, I'm happy to see Mihawk's bounty, which is a little bit lower than Shanks, but higher than Luffy's and enough to be a Yonko. Buggy, because of pure coincidence, is higher than Luffy's and is a Yonko. Crocodile, 2 billion. Yeah, fair estimation of the amount of power he had because he was significantly nerfed by Luffy just because. Plot armor, and it's about time we get an actual representation from him. With that being said, that's all I had to say for the bounties. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Until next time, peace.